Hey everyone, welcome to They Are Billions. They are finally out now in version 1.0. Well, they've since patched up. And right now we're gonna try out the campaign. I will be chatting during the cinematic and then we can go over the overall additions to the campaign and finally get into the first mission. If you have any tips or advice for me, please let me know down below. I know the basics, I played a long time ago, but now I'm back in here. And please leave a like and comment down below if you wanna see a little bit more tomorrow. And don't forget when you sub to click on that little bell if you wanna see all notifications as well. That's just me letting you know. Let's begin right now for some top tier amazing voice acting. We will never know what happened. It was more than two centuries ago when those humans sowed the seeds of their own destruction and left us with a legacy of terror. For all of them are now the monsters of our nightmares. How ironic that they ended up like this. I am Quintus Crane, your leader, your savior. I founded the new empire and the city that now shelters you. And now, the time has come to no longer live hidden like rats behind the walls of the great crater. It's time to face our monsters. Time to go out into the world and reconquer it for the glory of humankind, for the glory of the new I know his lines are quite convincing 13 years later it clearly went very well I thought we would be him but maybe not welcome so you want to be the new general to lead the reconquering campaign <laughs> well, I warn you, my young general, your mission won't be an easy one. How many attempts have there been so far? Ten? Twelve? All your predecessors are dead or have gone mad. Do you really think you can do better than them? Hmm. Okay. I'll give you a chance. Listen carefully. Our goal is to build new colonies in strategic locations to expand the empire beyond the great crater. I also want you to explore the ancient human strongholds and retrieve any technology from before the pandemic. We will use that to build more powerful colonies. You may also find swarms blocking your way. Destroy them with the might of the Empire's army. But be warned, failure is not an option. Succeed in your mission or never return. I don't know if we're an Empire, we're more like a surviving principality at most, really. It's more of a city-state it's doing okay. Yeah. Okay, Callus. What do we have over here? He's one of the best soldiers of Quintus Crane's elite brigade. Impressive in size and strength. Callus never pulls back as he can easily endure enemy attacks while killing them. Callus packs the destroyer, a heavy gun that fires large explosive projectiles. May be a slow shooter, but can kill several enemies with one bullet. I'm gonna go for that guy. Okay, so here we go right now. I'll be changing up my difficulty over to challenging. In the future, I might change it. I'm not that great, but hey. Anyway, Imperial City, protected by the mountainous edges of a deep crater, the capital of the new empire rises majestically. It was the only colony to thrive after the infection. It has not stopped growing since. It was founded by Quintus Crane more than 30 years ago. The time to expand the new empire beyond the great crater has come. Okay. The Hidden Valley is our first mission. We have over here our tech tree. Okay, so I think I'll probably go for high rise defenses first. That gives me wood towers. I do like the idea of having wood towers. If you have a better idea, let me know. I should probably get a soldier. I might do one more mission without the soldier, but I need to get the soldier one day. Hopefully it'll be all right. And over here is Callus, who we do not have an upgrade for. 10% armor. Let's see, reduces all damage by 10%. Speed of two, view range of seven, a attack range of six, and a attack damage of 50, with the attack speed of 0.71. No perks to use right now, and he's only level one. 
Here's my Empire points, which is all about hiring units and defenses of the Empire's army to attack infected swarms that block roads to access new missions. Okay, so yeah, that's just like more of a overall campaign map thing. All right, so let's go ahead and begin with the Hidden Valley. I need to have a colony population of 300. I need to resist all swarms of infected. I get only 30 days to complete my mission. All right. I can do that. Our rangers found this small valley on the banks of a shallow river. It is undoubtedly the, the safest place to establish the first colony beyond the protection of the Great Crater, where the capital, new city, or the capital city, new empire, rises. On the map, you will see a mineral deposit that seems to build a soldier centered to defend the colony. Cool. Let's go. Now that we're finally here, let's go look at where I want to move around a few things. I'm going to put a tent pretty close by. There we go. That's two of them total. And it's time for me to begin looking around. I'm going to pause when I can. Okay, so I need to have colonists here. I've got a few workers already. I need to have quite a few people. There was already a patch for the game, so maybe they changed up like the difficulty and a few other measures too. But we shall see in time. Let's begin to clear out the local area while things are still pretty slow. And let's see, do we need more food yet? We don't need more food yet. We will need wood very soon. Maybe not yet, but in time, we're going to need a lot more of that. Okay, mineral mining. Quarries have an extraction radius of two cells. Understood. I've got to go clear out this quarry. Get all that together. I don't even really need that, but I'm still going to get it. Let's go look around. We probably have some enemies that are not too far from me, and I really want to find out where they're all at. That way we can clear it out and have a safe area to build in. There's my train. Hello, train. All right. Food. Yep, colonists as well as soldiers need food. I haven't played in a long time, but I know the basics. All right, hunter cottages and fishermen. And depending on where I build it, that can change how much food I get. The train has arrived at the station, so let's have a look around here. Do I need another tent? I could use more food. Okay, let's begin to get food. I'll put my cottage over here. 14 food, not bad. We'll get some wood while we're out here too. That would be 10. I guess I'll take the 10. Yeah. We'll take the 10 for right now. There's no one down here. Good. Let's begin to move over to the west now. I only have four rangers. I need to make sure they don't die. All right. So while that is going on, let's see here. 22 colonists, 24, eight workers total. We've got plenty of food. Let's keep on moving. There's a big, big group down here. I hope I'm not wasting your time either. Okay, so we only have so long until the next invasion comes by. Understood. Yep, get all that together. Right now, they're pretty slow. These are pretty old infected. Aged infected. So they're very weak and slow, which means I've got a chance to just continue building up. I need to find a few choke points. I don't know where they're going to come from. I'm sure stage one or mission one is going to be a little bit easier. I doubt I'll be, I'll be able to actually beat the game because I'm not the best player in the world and I know that it gets pretty wild, but who knows, man. I can always turn it down if I really need to, I suppose. No shame in that, man. I used to care, but now it's like, eh. But I'll do my best and I'm sure with like tips from all of you, who knows, maybe I'll be able to pull it off. Okay, it's day one still. Let's go get another cottage if I can a little bit further down. That's 14 food. Okay. We're gonna clear out all the undead down here. And begin to expand outside of where we're at right now. They're not coming for me yet. Let's see, so while that food is coming up, let's go get, I should probably build up my food areas closer to the trees like that. It's another 16 food. That's a lot of food, man. So now we have a lot more food coming in that I no longer have to worry about once it's all built. Well, for a little while, I'm gonna have a lot of locations built up because I still need to build homes before a certain day is passed or we're gonna lose and I don't wanna lose. I'll try not to. I love the art style on this game. It's actually really cool. It has like a classic feel, but with style. It's own artistic measure instilled into the game itself. Okay, I can only build within the colony's energy range. I need to build Tesla towers for that. And I need to build a mill if I need more power. Understood, can do, will do actually. All right, let's begin to build out over here and over here, done. That's two more towers, looking good. I can build a lot of stuff probably. Let's go ahead and look at what I want to build up. I certainly want to get more food. Food's gonna be important, but let's keep on building a few of these buildings. 
Okay. That's a few more. Not the most beautiful arrangement, but hey, it'll work for now. All right, that's all of my food, so we're going to need even more food, which I'll be getting very, very soon. Let's continue to attack down here now. I need to get more rangers if I want to clear out the map. The longer I wait, the more powerful they're going to get, so we'll try to do that very, very soon. It's going to be a lot of new workers. I'll have enough workers for a little while. I can begin to focus on other things that I need. I only have plus 10 to my wood, so it's not really enough. I'm going to need more than that. All right. And I need more food, too, so let's go look at what we can do for food. Yeah, see, if I do this while I'm very careful and I pause, I'll be able to save a lot of time. It's 17. Okay, that's a lot of food, actually, so we'll take all of that. I'm going to need even more food than that, so let's go and build another Tesla tower about... Yeah, let's see. I think there would work. And over here. And that'll be two of them. I need more food. We already have one area for food that's being built up. And we're still increasing what we have down there. I still have some wood coming in. Not a lot of gold coming in yet. I mean, I did need that extra gold to pour in. Yeah, finish up here. Alright, it's 20 food. That'll help for a little while. So let's begin to push up now. Because we need to find out what's up north. I've cleared out the south, it seems. Now we can begin to move up north to hit a few other undead monsters. All right, so now while that's going on, let's go look at resources again. I want to get another hunter's cottage into the world. 18, oh, 19, oh my god. That's a lot. Actually, I could just do this to really find out a little bit easier what's out here. Very true. All right, that puts me at 16 food. It's another 16 food. So now I have a lot more food just coming in just from maximizing what little I do have. Now we're going to begin to build up. Or not build up, but attack up. Alright, so we know what's over here. I need to keep on expanding outwards. I'm going to need more gold than I, what I have right now. I don't have enough gold. I wish I did, but I don't. Okay. That'll be more tense. Let's begin attacking up here. We're on day three. I need to get more rangers, man. But it seems to be a decent area where I can build at. Alright, so we're certainly going to get... Let's see, I need more energy. Okay, so I need more energy, gotcha. Which means I also need to get more gold. And I only have 252 right now. It's not nearly enough gold. Here comes a quick one. Alright, now that I'm at that much, I need to... Let's see, pick up that energy, that mill. Let's see if I can put it anywhere decent. Alright, put that over here. There's a lot of my money. Good job. Okay, so we're getting a few faster ones now on day three. Uh, we're going to be on day four very soon. Not happy about that. Going to have to deal with it, though. Going to have to deal with it. I want another... Let's see. No, we just have to focus on a power. That power is going to be what I really need right now. Yeah, so we'll want to clear out every area that we can. Before I move over to the east across, the, the, I believe there's a bridge coming. There's water, so there's bound to be a bridge if a train is crossing through. Would, I would imagine, right. anyway. All right. Completed. Mill is done. I'm on day four now. Again. Time is just flying by. I have 30 for energy. I want to try to get as much wood as I can in my next building. It's not nearly enough wood. Nine? No. Nope. Over here, it's only five. Ten might be the limit of what I can do. All right, we'll build that there. Okay, that's done. What else do I need? I need more money. Sure. Plus two colonists. Let's see. That's for a hunter's cottage. Let's go ahead and take this real quick. That. These. Just keeping it very far from the front lines, or what will one day be the front lines. Okay. Then, let's see. After that, do I need more food? I will need more food very soon. I need more gold so we can wait on that. Alright. Let's watch the ladies do their job. It's all that I can build on mission one, so that's all that I'm going to have for a while. I want to get him. Good work. You weren't hurt. Alright, so far so good though. I mean, I've built up a lot. 
I'm expanding outwards. I'm gonna build up that quarry eventually. Because they want me to. So a lot of extra tents, new tents. I know the train kills any undead in the way, so that's really cool and good. Alright, so we're at plus 10 for wood. I probably will even build one more because I, I need a constant flow of wood if I want to do what I want to do. Here they come. Oh god, here they come. Okay, let's move back a little bit. Okay, let's have a look over here. So I need 20 stone. So that's what I need the stone for anyway. Let's go to build that quarry. That's going to be four stone. That's all that I can really muster up. So we'll grab that right now. Okay, then after that, we're going to probably build outwards just a little bit more. Just trying to get up there. Now we can push back in. Keep on pushing through. So I'm on day four. And I haven't built any new rangers yet, even though I've already expanded quite a bit. I have so many homes. People are looking pretty happy right now. Alright, let's see. What's over here? Every eight hours I get 366. Is it every eight hours for all of my stuff? Yeah, okay, so every eight hours. Gotcha, so three times a day. Don't let him hit you. Nice work. Oh, that's a lot. It's getting more difficult now. I can micro, so I'll just have to pause when I'm not doing that. Okay. Let's see real quick. Got some money. Got some wood. It's plus 20. I'm getting stone, finally. How much do I need for my military? I need 20 stone, so that'll take at least a little while. We can continue to expand. Just maximize all that space that we have. And I certainly do want to use the wood where possible, which means I'm going to need more gold. Which means I'm gonna need more people. Just grab all that for all that extra people. So I'm gonna build up some new stuff okay. very soon. All right, let's go ahead and kite these guys. Didn't quite get them. Oh crap, it's getting closer. Okay, that, that's one. Let's move over here to the left. It's another one dead. All right, no one was hurt in that attack. The train at least cleans up anything that comes out to the tracks. We still need to keep on pushing. Okay, so that's five more tents now. Well, the train just got here. We can attack together. All right, so the train is here. I'm at 378. I need to... Let's see. We're only at nine for the stone, so that still needs to wait. Let's continue to build up north now for all of my power supply needs. I'm out of money again. It's a lot of money. It's not cheap to build those. You can do it. Nice work. Oh, God. What are you putting in your arrows? Not that I mind. Not worried about the humanity of the undead. I think we're past that. I think that phase is over now. I keep hearing sounds as if they're getting closer to me. Ugh. So I'm already looking at a few choke points that I can utilize. Okay. You can see everywhere that I've built so far. We're getting more and more towers up. I mean, for the long term, I'll just build to maximize all the space around here. Got it. All right. So another tower completed. I can build up here now. Well, not as far as I would like. Hold on. That's what I'm talking about. That's much better. So we'll take that. And we're going to need more food. So let's go look at getting another hunter's cottage out here. It's a good 14 for food. It's not bad. I can get a good 16 over there. Okay. And over here, I can only get so much. That's another 10. We'll grab another 10. So that's going to be a lot of food. Oh, good. We have one veteran. Good, 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 good. That really helps out with my damage output. Another one. And they have been fighting for a while. I'm just waiting on that stone. Once I hit 20... Then I'm going to want to build at least two of them. Two of them would be nice to have. As I continue to fight down here. Okay, so I've got all this wood. I need to get that tower in order. Then we can begin to focus on building up some walls. Some de some defenses. Alright, let's see. The wood gate. We can put one here and here. And that's really all of the gates that I can put, at least over the tracks for now. We can look at some wooden wall stuff, though. There we go. So at least now, I have a small portion 
of these areas kind of cordon off put one here that's like a bulk of my wood you know that's just a good bulk what I have right now and that's why I, I want even more wood than that but at least now we can deny them from just being able to pour right into my lands as I begin to clear out this northwestern corner oh crap they actually did do some damage did they okay Army and units, okay. So now I have enough stone. Good work, good work. Let's move. Okay, and while that's going on, let's go look at my military building. I still need 20 wood, so we're waiting on wood now. All right, I have the wood for it. Let's go ahead and build up my military building. We'll put it about right here. All right, that's one. Let me see. They shouldn't be able to move through the trees, I don't believe. I, th I think we're good on that. I think. <laughs> I really hope we are. Or that's bad for me. All right. When that's built, we're going to be able to do so much more. We're going to be able to build up some stuff, get some things going. I want like 400 gold per. I think that would be nice. Am I all out? I'm out of energy. Right. Okay. Let's go over to resources. I need... No, sorry. Energy. I need 20 wood. So let's wait on the 20 wood that I need. A new task. I'll be able to get that very soon. We have 37 workers, so I just need to get a lot more power going for sure. Gotcha. All right. My arrow. At least right now, we have a fairly clear eastern pass that I can defend. Okay, so we're looking at, let's see, the wood that I need. I now need to get that mill, so let's go get that mill. Put that over here. Great. My bow is ready. They're doing it slowly. We're pushing them through. To the heart. That was always my goal to try to push them through like that. I'm on day seven. You pay Are you sure? Oh god, here they come. Okay. It's one. Here goes another. My I don't know how many are back there, but I just know it's a lot. Okay, let's see now. While that stone is coming in, I want to get even more wood than I have. I'm going to need more power again. Let's see. Wood. But I need energy. A lot of energy. I guess we can just build two while we're out here. Might as well go all crazy with it. Yeah, I don't know when they're going to come through, but I've already built at least one little area that wouldn't be enough to stop like a whole horde but at least it'll stop like some stragglers from being able to quickly get through I don't know if the trees are dense enough to keep me safe <laughs> all right still waiting on the wood gotcha got plenty of money at the moment man I really need to get more ladies don't I mission info I've done a lot very good all right Let's just start to build these ladies up. Got 13 stone. Gonna need more. But yeah, we're just gonna build up as many as we can. It's so important that I get all these ladies to help me out. That's two of them. Very nice. Okay, so we've done that. And I've got some wood. Another veteran. Okay, cool. Um, what was I looking for? I've got 40 food. I've got a lot of power. I wanted to get another sawmill. That's what I wanted. Let's go look at what I can get. 10 seems to be like the top end. I'm sure there's like some areas around here that would be even better, but finding the proper placement for it's a huge pain, it seems. Yeah, trying to find that proper area is going to take way too long. But we can do that, at least get another 10. That'll give me plus 30. And 30 is going to really help me out. So I need a lot of wood for me to defend what I want to defend, you know. Move the ladies over here. Good work. That's one. I'm at 17 now for some things. Okay, let's see. I'm going to want to build out another tower here. Yep. That's all my money. I'm going to need to um, get some more tents for some more income. Okay, so we're on day eight. So far, so good. I think. 
Okay, thank you for saving. It's only because I've been so active at like trying to get everyone together. All right, that gave me another one to use. Let's move. We can get some more help. We're just trying to avoid any of them getting hit. Yep, but now we have more ladies on the way. Okay, let's have a look now. I've got 7-Eleven for my money. And I've got some more stuff to hit. So, let's see. Quarry, sawmill. Already have my sawmill. Feeling good about my sawmill. Gonna need some more power out here. So, I'm gonna try to get that extra power out there now. So, we can get some more food while we're out there, too, if we want to. I mean, I've got some areas still out here for food. So, I think I'm pretty much good. But, you know. Yeah, let's get some more taxation going on. We can help it because I'm only at 349. That's not nearly enough now. All right. So far, okay. It's only day eight too. So if I can clear out this area, then go to the east and really clear out that area and get like maybe 30, 40 rangers all in the interim, that'd be awesome. Losing a lot of workers, gonna need more. Okay, so we're definitely gonna build more tents. I see that now. All right, that means I need more food. So let's go look at where we can build more food. Well, I need more money, so I've gotta wait for at least one uh, interval of gold to get through. All right, let's see. I think we've cleared out most of it. We just have like a, maybe a few that might be out here. Let's go check, just to make sure. But I think we did get them all. Yeah, we did. We got them all. I don't see anyone, so that should do it. Just got to move them through. The pathfinding got a little bit finicky for a second. Okay, so now while we do that, we're going to chill out here for a little bit so I can guard. And... Right, I didn't get my food, did I? No, I did not. Alright, let's go back to food. Hunter's Cottage. That's 12. That's 14, so we'll take that one. That is 7, 12. Let's see, what else can I get? Can I get anything fancy while I'm out here? Eh. Not so much. Not so much. 13 there. That's 5 right in the middle. They just can't overlap too, too much, or they can't do anything together. Alright. That's 14. That puts me at 15. That's 16. Ooh, that's 17. We'll take that one. And then I'm going to need another Tesla Tower. Just trying to maximize my space. That's still not all of it, but it's a little bit more. Alright. It's all the money I have for now. Well, I guess like the other idea is that I bring in at least a few of the Rangers who are being recruited. Put them up here for now. Just to kind of check things out. Because I really want to start like securing the East. So I know there's some bad stuff out there, so I'm gonna put you in a group two for now. I have a feeling they're gonna like try to push some crazy crap on me as I try to move out there, but we'll see what we can do. We'll see. All right, it's gonna be more food. So now I'm at 34 food, and uh, let's see what else I can do. Certainly want to try to build something that can help me over here. So let's do that now. Oh yeah, check it out. There's a lot over here that I'm going to want to probably kill. So we'll move up north. Good work so far. Okay, so group two now has at least two members. Alright. About to grab more food. I'm at 389. I've got so much wood to use. Let's see. Let's begin to use it. Puts me at 20. Great. It's going to be one choke point. We're going to have more than that very soon, but for now, that's going to be a decent group. So 11 or 9 in my first group. We'll be able to build up some nice veterans, I, I think, with that. But, uh, all right, cool. So we have that. I have power. I want to get more power, sure. That's fair and true. Okay, we can build that there and at least keep a nice little choke point close by. Oh yeah, that'll work. 
So I want to try to get multiple choke points out here if I can. And I also want to get more wood, more workers, more everything. It's just you have to juggle so many different skills at once. Strategic and tactical. I mean, you've got to like do it all in a very short amount of time. Alright, put you about over here. I need... If you're not making any rangers, you're not doing your job. That's a major part of the job. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to go that far. Crap, crap, crap. Bad idea. See, we can't even deal with, like, this little group without having to move through. Here they come. See that? How quickly that can go south. It's freaking nuts, man. Yeah, so we need to just keep on going. What's up? Any infected around? What? Okay, still group two. I'm gonna bring them out to help out very soon. Let's go look. I've got a lot of wood still, so let's begin to build up some more towers just so that we can begin to build out there. That's what I really and truly want to do is just build out there at least a little bit. Um, we can get more food. Let's go ahead and try to get some more food. We can grab a fisherman's cottage. That's a good 18 food in one freaking area. That's insanely good. Can't build it there. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. Um, I could build another sawmill. That would be 13. Oh, see, yeah, that's a lot of wood. That would help me supplement a few of my current needs right now. Oh, yeah, that's a fantastic one. So I'm going to have to really begin to use that wood up. And I need another one of these military locations. Okay. That'll at least be some more taxation going on. Last night was amazing. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Ladies. Oh my. Let's go bring group two out now. So we're about to clear out and grab some cool stuff, so that'll be nice to have. Alright, what am I looking at now? 409 for gold. Nice work. Are we still done? We're not done yet. So I think that's like where the limit is for me when it comes to building walls out. But let's go ahead and build another one. It's like a little bit further out just so I can get some nice power out there. Yeah, we can put it, uh, I guess right here. What do you want? Building completed. Better be good. Great. Right. They are trying to break into the building. Oh yeah, look at that. That already happened. Holy crap, we gotta move now. Go, go, go. Okay, it's 20 foot. Foot, I said. <laughs> that's a lot of fud. Alright, let's hope that they can actually do it. Alright, now while that's going on, let's keep on pushing. Well, they nearly did it, so... That was proof that I need to watch out. Okay, well, group one's working on that. I'm on day 11. So we're on day 11 now. I've got a lot more money than I did before. I certainly want more than that. And I certainly want to get more gates than what I have right now. Just in case we need to really cordon off stuff. What now? Not enough? All right, right, okay. You can wait here for now. I'm going to build a nice gate somewhere. I haven't decided where yet. But that was a pretty nasty attack. I'm at 43 wood per 8 hours. That's really good. Repair all. I want to build another area up there, though. Because, I mean, if, if we have multiple choke points, even better. Even freaking better, man. This group's turning into a really elite squad. Of hunters. Alright. Now, while we wait... We come back, we build another wooden gate. That's going to be over here. Alright, so now that you have that, you can come back. And now we have more defenses to help me hold on. And we're going to need even more rangers. Again, if we're not building them, we're not doing our job, as I said before. Because there's more supplies for me to get. And clearly more undead for me to kill over to the east. So that's going to be like one choke pointed area. We need to certainly get more. And I'm at 48 wood, so we're going to start working on that. All right, we can build another tower or another gate right here and get that through. 
capacity. So now we're just kind of locking them in at various junctures. Certainly want to defend any of my Tesla towers as long as I can. So I'll try that out. All right, low on wood again. What? See, now all these tools here, all these like things that I'm doing, they're going to be able to help me out. We got some more supplies again. That's more gold. That's a lot more gold. It's going to be able to help me really expand. Let's move back slightly. They're not my elite squad, so they clearly need some help. They need some love. All right, all of them will be in group one for now. They're all going to work together to clear out these woods. Because I'm trying to avoid having that horde follow later and attack me. So let's make sure the movement's okay. I think it should be okay. It's not my most optimal building yet, but uh, we'll give it a go anyway. All right, so let's go ahead and build our walls up. I want to try to build them up right over here. Just kind of really get them together. You see, that way, it's one just complete choke point that has no gate. No gate, they won't have a focus point. Alright, so that puts me at 20 more food. I think we got most of it, but we need to check a few other areas because, you know, they just, they pop out of the blue, man. They come out of the blue and they do some serious damage. So, let's go ahead and look at what else we can do down here while we're down here. Um, I clearly need another military soldier center, so we're going to grab that right now. Done. Okay, now that I've done that, let's go ahead and grab some more stuff, some more defenses, really. It's just going to be constant defenses that I'm building all the freaking time. All right, can you move past that? Hmm, I don't like the way that looks, honestly. Can I do anything about that? Let's have a look real quick. I could probably get some manner of tower over here yeah we'll just put that right in the middle I mm, actually don't like it there right in the middle let's mm -mm, no not not what I want I want to put it like on the side if I, I don't think I can though crap wait wait there we go perfect what do you want now whatever I can do to kind of give me like a warning system but we're on day 13 now so we're getting closer Got some more undead to kill. Got a lot of ladies that are coming in. More on the way. We got so many workers. Let's begin to build up some more tents now. I have 84 food. I'm gonna need more power soon, but got a lot, man. Got a lot. Attention. Building completed. Okay. Our first real colony. So far, so good. Puts me at 20 food. My god. Okay, I feel pretty good about what we just did. Let's push up here real quick. Um, let's see. Group 2 is actually going to be over here for now. As we try to get all the ladies together. See, there's just so many staggered defenses, and I think that's going to be awesome. And while we do that, let's go to get some extra walls in. Probably even build like an extra. Yeah, I could build one like over, over here. Another pocket now. And so while I do that, we have other defenses to build up. Oh, I love that tool, man. It's awesome. Okay. We can just lock this all up real quick. Put that there instead, I suppose, if we want to, and I do want to. All right. It's even more wood than before. I mean, dude, I'm just like constantly grabbing wood. So I just want to go ahead and look around real quick before we just begin to focus completely on building up our population. I'm at 250 now. I think they lowered it to like 300 um, because there was a patch for the game. Okay, that, that's a good like kind of beforehand test. Oh crap, see like there's a little pocket down here that I didn't get to. That's what I'm talking about, man. See, we were not ready. 
what we can do can actually just build more walls out there whatever gives me time right Okay, out of wood for now. Sure? We're just pushing through this group. Okay. There's more supplies for me to pick up. Okay, so... Do I need more? Oh, I absolutely need more power and more food. So let's go over here. Let's see, we need another mill. We can grab, like, two more mills. We'll just put them down here. And there. There'll be two more mills. We're gonna need more food. All right, so Hunter's Cottage. That's 14 food. That's pretty good. We'll take that. I need more food than that, too. So let's go look at what else we can grab while we're out here. It's another 14. We put that at... Yeah, they might make me expand further out. What's up? Any infected around? Right Hope not. That's a temp surplus of more food. I don't know if they come out over here. You can only build pockets, you kind of have to build together, it seems. Anyway. It's more food. Let's try to find more food than what we have now. Let's see here. Not enough. I could probably build down here a little bit if I really wanted to try to push that. What else could I work on? Really depends, but I know I need more food. That's I saw a good twelve. Oh man, an eighteen would be amazing. I think that twelve is all that I can do for that general area. Thirteen over here. I do another fifteen there, and that's going to deliver so much freaking food. And then what about a fisherman's cottage? That would be funny to kind of have that out there just for a temp. Okay. So I can't put it over here. Nor there. Don't think there's too many other locations for me unless it's like open fields, which I might have to utilize as well. Yeah, there's like a few decent open fields, so we'll just use those as well. To get as much food maximized into our settlement as possible see now we've got some extra food and it and we're still using open fields it might not be like the biggest benefit but it's better than letting that land go to waste it's another 10 so One. that's going to deliver a crap ton of food Great. there's gonna be some people who um cause a few issues i'm sure but oh crap did i haha <laughs> i see you are gonna pay me for this right all right, hold on. Let me destroy that little thing. Let's see if we can actually get through. I don't think we can still. Nope, nope. We do have a trapped area, so let's see what I can do about that. All right, how much food am I looking at? 148? It's a lot more food than before. Yeah. Okay, it looks like I can get through, but it's mm, no, that's not a good idea. Just gonna have to try to do something else over here. That's too much. So it's mostly the pathfinding that seems to be having some issues over here. So let's go ahead and get rid of at least one area. All right, they're all together. That's a big gap that I don't like. I, I need to think about how to kind of rebuild that. I have all this freaking wood, and we're at day 16, so I think I have time. All right, we'll put this one here. We'll put a gate over here. And I think those two would rectify the situation at least somewhat. It's another gate there. Might be too many gates. Could cause too many issues. I feel like that kind of detracts from my overall defensive output that I could have over here, but we could actually attack them from two different areas if I do that. So let's go ahead and get some more ladies in. We'll put them all here for now. All right, that'll be another 10. Group one has 24. It's 24 Rangers. Lots of walls.
Lots of power, too. Okay, let's make sure that we have everything that we need. Put that there. Yeah, put this over here. And that's how we're just gonna have overlapping defenses for days, man. Got plenty of money, I just need more rangers now. Just waiting on my extra wood to come in. There we go. Okay, that comes on through. Let's make sure that we can get through. So far, so good. Okay. All right. You can get over here, right? Yep. Can you get over here? Let's find out. Two more rangers coming in. Um, I've got 47 wood again, so let's go ahead and work on that. Am I going overboard? Who, dude, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe so. But it's what I'm doing. And it's how I'm going to do it. Alright, so that entire leg will be kind of like cut off if they manage to break through. Or it could be like a multi-tiered. Well, no, we're just going to go ahead and... Yeah, yeah. I'm going to just triple wall that if I can. And I can, so cool. Or we'll just do what we can and block them off. Anyone that I put over there would just die, though, if I did that. You True. Have to pay me for this, right? So that would be a problem. Yeah. All right, let's see. We could just move a wooden gate. Where, then? Is there anywhere where we could? Not really. <laughs> that might just have to be, like, a distraction. Some, I don't think I'm going to... Yes. Well, if I did, how would I do it? First off, I'm going to look over here. I'm going to... I can't put anything here. Just probably due to the nature of what I've done. My bad. There's so many checkpoints through here, though. It's pretty wild. I got checkpoints for my checkpoints. For my checkpoints. That's really just a huge part of it, though. It's just making sure that I have an overlapping, staggering system. Too many walls in the same area. Understood. It's right. These, I would imagine, that are causing the issues. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then, what we can do, we can actually... Wall off... Another one of my towers. You again. Okay. That way, we can still shoot as much as we want to. What? All right. All of you will be in yeah. group two. I already have group one. That'll be group two. So I'm also trying to protect my farmers as much as I can. Yeah, as much as I can. They're, they're just like, okay, great. <laughs> Fun defenses here, guys. Yeah, I know. The train has arrived at the station. Just gotta do what I can, folks. Okay, let's see about other walls. Put these here. There. They're like, dude, do you need some more walls? Nah, yeah, maybe. You again. Great. Let's see if I can get through. Or is that tree in the way? Oh, crap. Is that tree in the way? <gasps> no, the tree's in the way. Oh, that really sucks a lot. Okay. I've... Yeah. Yeah, that is true. Is there a way for me to get rid of that? I don't think so. I don't believe there is. I have no idea. But anyway. We still have overlapping defenses, and I'm still feeling pretty okay about it. Let's go ahead and get more ladies in. That's another 10. Got 34 right now. Not nearly enough. I need another 10. Alright. 
while we do that, let's go ahead and build up some more defenses. I feel like we're lacking some. If I can't use it that gate, then I'm just gonna build up on my walls over here. So now that protects another area. We can go ahead and just wall that up too. And I know I can move through here, so that's nice. Okay, then there's like a final tier of defenses. We probably need some stuff over here too. My bow and arrows are ready. My bow and arrows are ready. Are they? Well, that's good. Just trying to keep these damn towers secure. Here they come. Not to mention all my homes. I'm at 350. Go check on that right now. Here they come. So far to the east, nothing. Okay, good. That worries me. Probably more than the north. At least slightly. I'm gonna put them over here for now. Alright, let's see what I can do. What else can I do? All right, here comes the waves, man. So far, so good, right? At least I hope so. Once it gets a little bit shady, then I'm gonna have to move, but right now it looks like they're killing the ones closer. Uh-oh, now they're hitting the more important walls. Oh, we did it. Holy shit, we did it. All right, score factor 100%. That was um, a challenging difficulty. We built a prosperous colony, extending the influence and power of the empire. Wow, okay. <laughs> that felt good. Okay, so we have three to pick from. The Hunter's Meadow, The Last Bunker, or The Crossroads. I'll probably have like a poll for you guys to vote on down below. I think that'll be fun. But we're gonna call it here for now. All right, 350 for population. We did one mission. A lot of units. I can get some stuff over here. Let's see, food production goes up. Mercenaries, extra unit, very nice. High rise defenses, wood tower. I like that. Can't wait for his mission, whenever that comes up. No idea when, guess we'll find out soon enough. Looks cool though. All right, we shall call it here, everyone. Thank you for watching. Leave a like down below. Look forward to more later, and as always, until then.